Oh, hey there, beautiful. <laughs> I didn't see you there. And now I see ya. You look great. You always look great. We're actually gonna go over uh, one of my worst fears. Um, people going from blonde to brown. Why do I dig my grave deeper and deeper and deeper every time I talk about brown hair? Here's the thing. I do not have anything against brown hair. I joke. I kid, I push it too far sometimes. And you know what, you brunettes out there? I'm sorry. I love you more than you will ever understand. And thank you for being here. Let's see how many brunettes are in the world. 75 to 85% of the world actually has brown hair. I should probably try and win my love back from the brunette fam squad out there because guess what? Probably 75% or 85% of you watching have brown hair. So today is gonna be about you. How much I appreciate you and love your colored brown hair, okay? I hope that makes you feel more special and I hope um, you can find it in your heart to forgive me for all my brunette comments that I've made over the years. I joke, I swear it's a joke, man. So today we're watching a bunch of people go from blonde to brunette and very dark brunette and some people don't do it right and everybody uses box dye to do it which is don't do that. We'll get into it later. You guys know how I feel about these things. I shouldn't repeat myself a million times like I already do. Also, I have a giveaway going on. I'm giving away a bunch of awesome makeup and hair stuff, hair tools, everything. You can see it in my previous video from Thursday, what the giveaway has in it. All you gotta do is follow me on Instagram at bravando.myc and xmono hair and show your love to be entered into a new giveaway. The giveaway winner will be announced on October 31st on my Instagram story. So if you don't hear from me, you probably didn't win. Moving on, let's watch these videos. Let's do it. Ah! <laughs> All right, so our first video is by Sarah Gingham. And this is I Dead My Hair from Bleach Blonde to Black. Ah! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. I'm so scared. And Me too. I can probably tell I'm going to be dyeing my hair black. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I will not tell you. Oh my God. She is really... Blonde. I today with my dad and picked up three boxes of hair dye. Of course you do. <laughs> she is using nice and easy, natural looking color in 5M. I don't know what the M stands for, but the five is like a dark brown, probably in Clairol. And she has very, very, very light hair to start with. The textbook way from blonde to brunette, you should always fill their hair. And if you don't know what filling hair means, well, I'm about to tell you. Uh, filling hair refers to adding back the tone in your hair that you're missing. Her hair is blonde. She's trying to go very dark brown. So she needs to probably put orange and red back in her hair before doing the darker color over that. However, the rules are meant to be broken and you don't always need to do that. It's not that important in a lot of cases. Just the correct formulation. Make sure you always have a lot of gold in your dark brown color. That way it kind of adds a filler in. And the reason we do fillers is because if you don't fill the hair, you get a very hollow sort of brown. In order to make a very dark brown, usually you need a little bit of red, orange, and yellow in that color in your hair fiber in order to make a very deep, beautiful, rich brown appear on top of your hair. Not filling it, you might get more of a hollow brown because you don't have all of the necessary elements in order to create a beautiful, shimmering, deep brown with a lot of depth. I don't know what's in this nice and easy, and probably neither does she. And her hair is probably very porous. Okay. The odds are against her. You cannot say she doesn't look good with this blonde hair. Tell me, somebody out there tell me. I mean, I would probably go a little bit lighter with the brows on her or do like a more cool tone brown on her eyebrows, but love the blonde. It looks beautiful. It's very pure toned, very even all the way through. And I think it looks great. So we'll see what happens with the brown. I'm not judging yet. <gasps> Oh, okay, we're starting on the roots. I guess it's fine in this case because she needs to lighten those roots because they are the darkest part of her hair. Oh, I'm really worried about this though. That band is probably gonna lighten and then she's gonna end up with the same brown all the way through. Oh, it is already so dark. Oh, so annoying. Oh, so I'm wow. Color all over my head. Hence, so... so it looks like she was using a more red toned Brown, which is probably good because she needed to replace that red in her hair that was lacking. Oh my god, I have. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about it. It's probably yeah. not gonna turn out red. I think she and wants it red. My nerves have kind of calmed down a little bit now that I've actually stuck it on. My my mine haven't calmed down. I'm not 
are you doing? Really there, but so I just washed it out. Got a few stains around here, but I'm sure that'll come. I'm nervous. And um, my roll neck's kind of wet. We nearly lost an eyebrow oh, no. in the shower, so. Because I'm pretty well. But yes, what I'm going to do now is dry my hair. I didn't put any conditioner in it. I just shampooed it and that is it. My sleeves are soaked. Oh. Oh. Actually, just filled her hair, I believe, with red color, like I was talking about. And now she's going over with a dark brown black color. So look, Sarah is doing it right. But Sarah, why are we using box dye? You just don't need that much ammonia on your blonde hair. It is going to ruin it for no reason. You don't need that much. This would have been a fine process. She would have done it completely right if she just didn't use box dye and that is because there's so much ammonia in it you don't even know what the developer is is it 10 is it 20 is it 30 40 we don't know you did not need to use that so she is going back on her roots and honestly i feel like this might look kind of good oh it is now the next day um so i've got some makeup on and a different and eyebrow color somewhat presentable so one of them was blow dry my hair i haven't straightened it or i'm forming my thoughts my here hold on Sorry, I'm still filling my thoughts. I'll be right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to dig my hole deeper and deeper. Do I think she looks bad? Hell no. Do I think she looks better as a brunette? She looks really good both ways. Listen, I would have just changed the eyebrow color before, but I had to each their own. Okay, that's just my opinion. However, her eyebrow color looks way better here. Mm, I don't get it. I would have liked this brow color with the blonde, but I do like the brown. I think it's just the one dimensional box dye brown that I have a problem with. I actually really do like the brown on her. It's beautiful with her skin tone and makes her look very glowy and healthy. Definitely gives her a different vibe, but she looks really like intelligent and like studious brown hair where she looks like more of a fun girl with the blonde hair and like ooh, like let's go out woo, kind of girl so whatever you're into i mean whatever i would add just some highlights to make it less one-dimensional you know it doesn't need to be blonde highlights it can be like a lighter brown just something to add a little bit extraness into it and make it look more professionally done otherwise it just kind of looks like yeah it's box dye at home that is what it looks like boy was that messy i've still got some patches around the top of my head. Messy. Soma, I asked my mom to help me to do the back of my head, but she totally forgot and I forgot as well. So the back of my head is a little bit patchy, so I'm gonna go today in a second. I'm not looking. And I'm gonna pick up another box of hair dye. It's so weird looking at myself. Another? Like, Who is this? I guess she liked it. <laughs> All right, moving on. This next video is by, oh, hey, Jenny. Hey guys, so Hi. this is My prediction is that her hair is gonna look really good brown. Right now she has this kind of ombre moment going on and listen, <sighs> Asian hair is so tough to lift. It's never pure blonde. It always has a bunch of yellow and silver mixed in through it and it's always kind of a little uh, different tones, okay? And oftentimes it's never perfect, all right? It's tough to lift. It's like very straight, coarse, thick hair, which is pretty much the hardest thing to lift. So you get a lot of these variations of color all over the place and that is what we're seeing now. It doesn't look bad, just doesn't look perfect. All together, the five boxes were only like 30 bucks with tax and stuff. So super cheap, a lot cheaper than what this mess cost so i got this one which is the color silk oh. beautiful color number one in the usa i love that shit on boxes we're number one like we are the best we are the best diner in the world number one you know you can just put that on packaging and there is no actual legalities behind that you can literally put on your package we are number one hair care brand or anything what does number one even mean number one in what number one red I'm gonna be dying my hair this red color first because I guess if you don't do that, you risk the black fading into like a green. And that actually happened to me in high school when I went from something pretty much like this. It was like a little more orangey, I think, but to black. And yeah, that definitely 
definitely does happen, so uh, you yeah. want to prevent the green hair. So this pack comes with the cream color developer in this So tube, she is filling the hair. This Revlon color At least silk. people do research before um, doing their hair. Like, leave it in for 25 minutes plus 20 minutes if you have ultra brown hair or blonde hair, which is what I definitely have. The color and everything has been mixed. It's in this. Oh, I'm nervous! Yeah. So I'm just going to start putting it oh. back into my hair. And I'm going to try to use both boxes. So just to make sure it really stays. Not much sectioning going on. I did the pretty much like bottom oh, half wow. of my hair. Oh, wow. It's changed quick. I tried to use this whole bottle. And so now I'm just going through and seeing like any spots that I missed and just like doing touch-ups. Okay, so wow. Right oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already excited. Like, I used to color my hair a lot in high school. Ugh. You could honestly do this at home if you really want to. Just don't use box dye. It's literally like go to Sally's and buy the proper things needed. Now, every color line is different when filling hair, so I can't really ever say exactly what you need. Just do your research, but typically, you know, you can fill with 10 volume or demi permanent color, and you can fill with red demi permanent color. That way, you're not using any developer, anything that's gonna lift your hair or damage it at all. You're staying away from that, and then you can deposit the permanent color over it, whether that be 10 volume again or 20 volume, depends on the color line. But it's the same thing. It's just that you know what you're getting in the tube instead of being like, oh, this is box dye. Yeah, but what's in the damn box dye? Also, you can pick the exact tone you want. Say you want dark hair, but you want a very cool tone. You can do that. Say you want dark hair, we want red, red tone. You can do that. Blue toned black hair. You can get that. You can get specific colors and specific ingredients when you're using professional color. When you're using bauxite, you can't not. But I can make sure I'm like getting all the spots and then I'm just like rubbing it in and making sure that everything is completely So covered. she's avoiding her roots also, which is interesting. And that just took so freaking long because my hair is ah. so thick and long. Honestly, Ari looks better. This is what oh. it looks like right now. <laughs> And then take a shower. Wow. So my hair is red right now. And it just looks so weird. Like, I remember I had like kind of like a reddish hair thing going on for like a really long Okay, we're and getting there. Like, doesn't matter because I'm going to change it back to black right now. So I'm going to be using this <gasps> number 10. <laughs> I just stopped black. doing that. And since my hair is like darker now it shouldn't take as long that's not how it works <laughs> the reason why the package says to leave it on for 45 minutes is because that's the exact time it takes to color the hair. It takes time to swell the hair. It swells the hair for the first, oh God, I can forget a little bit, but like 15, 20 minutes, I think, or 10. Whatever, you get the point. Portion of the time, swells the hair. Portion of the time, color molecules go in, distribute into the hair, and that is the process that it is. And it takes a certain amount of time for that to happen. So if you wash it out too early, there's not gonna be enough time for the color molecules to actually go in the hair and fully set in there. So I wouldn't wash out color any earlier or later. Later also doesn't matter. You can leave color in for two days or 45 minutes like it recommends and nothing's gonna change. Okay. The last part, which is the top of my hair in black. And I'm gonna go ahead and save the third Yee -yee. box to use for after to see like if I missed any spots. But I'm surprised by how long like this whole process is taking. I thought it would take like, I don't know, two hours or something. No, it's like all day. It takes a really long time to like Make sure that it's all in my hair because my hair is just so thick. Oh yeah, so it is. We're getting this done. Black is in. <gasps> really ah! It turns out, but I have to hurry because Shit. I'm actually going out. It's dark. Pretty soon. So, oh whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this for like half an hour, and then we'll see how this turns out. I'm excited. I'm oh. Also really oh. That these it's not coming out. Spots will come off because I tried to like. Kind of scrub it off. That it will really not come off of off. your skin. So we'll and I'm see. sorry about it. Hey guys, so it is the next morning and oh. I just wanted to wait until today to show you guys the final look just because last night I was rushing and I wanted to give my hair a chance to settle, but yeah, it's done and I'm really liking how it turned out. Here's the thing. I like the dark hair on her a lot better than the blonde. <gasps>
<laughs> but also, it would look better if it was professionally done or with the right products. You can tell it's box colored. <gasps> I'm sorry. <gasps> in salons, we pretty much like never really do one overall color. And that's what makes it different than an at-home color job is because we put variations of tones in your hair so it looks more natural looking. It doesn't look like you just threw box dye on your head and made it all one color. Um, so that's the difference you're getting with salon color versus your home color. Uh, but if you're not too picky, you can do this at home. I do notice a difference. However, a lot of people will be like, oh, this looks awesome and not notice the difference. So I'm just being picky and crazy, but she looks great. I do really like the dark hair on her. However, I wish it was more of her natural tone instead of this like bluish black going on. It's kind of like bordering on too dark for her skin and too cool for her skin tone, but looks nice. I'm not saying she looks Bad. I'm just saying there's a more optimal result for her. Her hair does look healthier though. It was still oh. way, way cheaper than going to the salon and I'm happy with the outcome. So I guess that's Good. all that really matters. Exactly. This is just such a random. That is all that matters is that she is happy. Let's watch one last video. It's by Madeline Pompey. Dying my hair at home. She goes from blonde to black. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline Pompey. If you're new, it's Whoa, the energy. So today we are going to be doing something crazy. And I don't know why, like I'm trying to keep it secretive. You can read it from the title. But today we're dying my hair. Look at those brows. <laughs> Whoa. Those are afraid of Whoa. Those are like boom. I can't decide if I should look at your eyes or your eyebrows. Like your eyes or your eyebrows. I just like my own stuff done a certain way. I like my eyebrows waxed a certain way. <laughs> I like my nails done a certain way. I like my tan covered in a certain way. Don't ever I come like to me. <laughs> When clients say that to me, like, I'm very picky. I want like this and like this and like this, which is how I am too. But I'm like, okay, maybe you should see my friend. Um, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna work out. <laughs> so I like to do people's hair the way I want to do people's hair. So I have finally reached this level of blonde. And, most people and now she's gonna ruin it. You know, they went through all the trouble and everything, and they would be like, hey, I'm gonna stay blonde. Not me. No. Now that I have reached blonde, now that I have experienced the fun of being Wow, this has happened I'm all the time. Okay, let's see. Nutrice. And we're not I'm filling, apparently. Fast. We're not going to fill um, the hair. It's not fun to be like halfway through and not have enough. No. It's funny because n pretty much nobody can use one of these box dyes to color their whole head, which is so smart with these box dye brands because they just <sighs> purposely make them small so you have to buy more of them. The reason I picked up this brand is because I've used this brand a ton in the past. Like in high school, um, my early years of college, I went through a phase where I liked dark, dark jet black hair. So this is where we oh. and I love the way it looks. Honestly, I it's love nice. It. Honestly, it looks okay. really cool with her makeup too. Like she looks very artsy and cool. I really like this color on her. I don't know how much I'm gonna like the darker hair on her. It's, I really do genuinely like this color on her. So I'm just taking um, some type of like deep conditioner or hair mask or something that's like greasy. You can use Vaseline even. People use conditioner. But I'm taking this along my hairline um, just so that it doesn't stain. Good idea. Because <laughs> everybody else ended up with mad staining, dude. And also, though, you gotta be really careful because I can see in the front of your hair that you have some conditioner on your hair, which might not allow the color to set in as much as it should. <gasps> and we wouldn't want that because that'd be tragic and that would make me want to die. She is just going in, dude. She is just going in. Half? half? That was your roots. <laughs> I'm a little worried. I'm a little teapot. I feel like you really got the front of the hair really good. That's all that matters, right? Just leave the rest behind. Who cares about the rest? Oh, she's gonna do it all together. Okay. Mm, there is no sectioning. There's... Why section when you could not section? That's my question for you today. <laughs> oh, I wanna see the outcome. I'm nervous. Oh 
shoot. I am officially brunette. This is the final product, right? I really like it. I thought I was gonna actually not like this one the most. It honestly looks really good. However, I can see a bit of spotting going on. She should probably just do the, the dye again. Uh, she kind of looks cool. What do you think? Yeah, you think she looks good? Okay. There's nobody there. Um, she looks great. Let's see what she thinks. I love doing a little Barbie for a while. Blondes do have more fun. Brunettes are bolder. But, um, uh, for two reasons. One, I just missed it. So that was case in point. And then two, it was because of these amazing hair products I've been using. Um, they've been really healing my hair. And, um, I can feel the difference. Her hair looks so shiny. It's kind of hard to see the difference. Yeah. It's not like super easy to, like, show off your shine or show off. That's true. Wow, it looks Literally, really I shiny. Just my, I just colored my hair. That's like that's like when you put your hair in brew cup, okay? Please look at this. Ow! Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I think I like the brown hair better on her. Oh my what is this day? What is somebody marked in the calendar as Brad likes brunettes day? Just kidding, I always like brunettes. Stop coming for me. I swear I love you and I love each and every one of you, no matter what your hair color is. Woo! Big girl, those were some belong to brunette transformations. I'm so surprised that this is the first time I made this various reacts video before in this category. You would think this would be the one of the first things I would do was blonde and brown. It's pretty like, you know, obvious. It's kind of a fun video to watch. But there you go. I gave it to you. Blonde to brunette. I was shook. Hope you were too. And I actually really like the transformations. Pretty much all of them. Maybe I'll be going brunette soon. <gasps> Ooh, girl. Mm -mm. No, thank you. I think the most I would do is my natural color, which is like dark blonde. But no, thank you. No, thank you, brown. I'm good. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Grandma No YC, and follow my hair care brand, X Model Hair. Also, new products being released soon. So save your coin if you want to get in on the that. I'll let you know more about that soon. Um, make sure you follow the Instagram to get updates on that. Enter my giveaway ending on October 31st. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. -y. Life. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye. <laughs>